They are, uh, again, about 25 miles away from my position, and I am, I am uh, speeding along at about five and a half knots, so, so I should get to them in under five hours, um, and then we'll see what happens. And, um, and that's it, I'm exhausted. Um, aside from the part where I hope to um, and slept soundly for uh, some hours at a time. Uh, throughout the rest of this trip, uh, I have never, ever slept for more than exactly 27 minutes at the most, and often set the timer for less than that. Um, so I, I, uh, I sleep for for that much, um, and then get up and look around, look at the radar, look at the sails, look at the chart plotter, look at the wind speed. Uh, and direction the instrument, um, and, uh, and then go back to sleep. So that's that's your report for now, and we'll see what happens next. This is Cha 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 Cha. Hello, I can hear you. Uh, I can read you much more clearly now. Um, I am 21 miles from your position and heading towards you. Uh, I'm northwest of you. Uh, uh, over. Hello, that's great to hear. Over. Good. Um, I uh, have you been able to contact Bermuda Harbor Radio directly, or has someone relayed uh, to them for you? Over. Over the radio, you might have heard it as well. We believe that our distress message has been relayed, but we uh, we have no sign of anybody coming to our assistance as yet. Over. Uh, Roger that. Um, well, I'm heading towards you. I'm not sure if I can uh, tow tow you all the way to Bermuda, or maybe part way to Bermuda. Um, but uh, what? What, uh, what size sailboat are you, over? Paragon, we are 52 foot sailing vessel, over. Roger that. Uh, I'm a 42 foot sailing vessel with an 85 horsepower engine. Um, I'm also single handed. Um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I've never tried to to tow a boat as large as uh, 52 feet, um, but uh, but perhaps I can I can uh, I can do it. Over. Hello, Paragon. I'm handing you over to the to the skipper. Over. Roger that. Okay. Hello, Paragon. Uh, this is uh, Rich with uh, Captain. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, and uh, I'm uh, I'm single-handed on a 42-foot uh, sailboat with an 85 horsepower diesel engine. I'm um, coming from New York City, single-handed, headed for Bermuda. And uh, if I can assist you in any way, uh, I'm glad to. Um, I don't know if. Uh, I've never tried to tow a 52-foot boat before. I'm um, not sure if it would be possible. Over. Uh, yes, uh, I understand. Um, yeah, we. Um, my engine uh, is. I have an engine that's good around anchorages. It doesn't uh, work. It doesn't. Uh, it isn't consistent. So it's overheating if we use it too much. It will not make it by itself. It, it may be for day and days. It might, but uh, it overheats. And uh, we have another weather system, I assume, coming our way. Uh, Roger that. Um, well, uh, I'm I'm uh, very happy to assist in any way I can. In any case, I'm heading uh, straight for your position, um, and uh, and you know perhaps I could I could try to tow you, um, and if not, uh, at least I could uh, convoy uh, with you the the rest of the trip or until. Um, a more capable towing boat uh, arrives. Uh, over. Sounds like a good idea. Uh, one thing I, I have to work on is our steering. For one 
prison or another our rudder locked up. Uh, so that's another issue. Roger that. Yeah, you definitely need a tow then. So you can't get under sail then, uh, uh, even if we got some wind. Over. Well, my sails were seriously destroyed. Uh, if, 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 if anything we put together with sails we made, that they were destroyed in the storm. Aye, roger that. Um, yeah, I was hove too for the two days, uh, but got, got through it unscathed. Um, well, uh, I am going to assist you in any way uh, at all possible. Um, and uh, uh, and uh, I'm glad you guys... Is everybody okay? <laughs> Over? Uh, yeah, we're okay now. Um, if I, if Tuesday night, I... Uh, I had a fall in a big wave, a sudden wave, and got lunch, and I got a, a pretty serious head wound, which seemed to be healing itself. And that was complicated. I went to shock for a couple of days, and um, so um, I used to be a solo sailor, too. I was down, glad I had Gail here, but she's not an experienced sailor. I said, this is her first test. Uh -huh. Needs to say it's a little difficult for her. But she's been terrific. Oh, good. Wow. Uh, I'm so sorry to hear that you, you got hurt there. Um, Boy, <laughs> hang in there, guys. We're almost to Bermuda. Um, and um, uh, again, I, I will assist in any way possible. Um, and uh, we'll make sure that you get to Bermuda one way or another. <laughs> um, so as I said, uh, I'm, uh, I'm now 20.5 miles from your position, uh, uh, motoring at uh, five and a half knots. And uh, so I should see you very soon. We're so excited to see you, and it'll be about four hours, I assume. So, uh, yes, that'd be wonderful. Thank you. You're very welcome. Uh, uh, Roger that. Okay, good. Um, I will. Uh, I'll be standing by on one six. Um, um, oh, could you could you spell your uh, your vessel name? I I can't quite get it. Over. Our vessel name is Cha Cha, C H A, C H A. Roger, good copy, cha-cha, cha-cha, 52-foot -cha, sailing vessel, uh, roger that, okay, cha-cha, I will, uh, I will be there soon, and, uh, and I'll be standing by on 1-6. Thank you, are you from, are you from New York originally, or where are you from? Uh, I'm from Boston, originally, but, uh, but I've sailed, uh, my, my boat between, uh, the Caribbean and, and New England, uh, several times, and, uh, also down far as south as Venezuela and as far north as Nova Scotia, and, uh, I'm single-handed. Uh, where are you guys from, and what was your last port? Over. Oh, um, I, I've been living on the boat for a couple of years. I, I captained it for a couple of days in August, and they were in real estate, and, you know, giving the, the boat uh, running out of money. And so I've been trying to make this work myself. Uh, I actually do some solar sailing myself. I sailed up from, I spent uh, last winter in Antigua, and I sailed up in August up to Newport, where I spent the fall doing project. Mm, roger that. <laughs> Great. Uh, so what, what was your uh, your last port before, uh, before here? Over. We left from Newport. Roger that. Cool. Okay, wonderful. Um, Great, I'm really looking forward to helping you guys in any way I can, um, and uh, and I will be there as soon as I can, and uh, I'll be standing by on 1-6. Great, I look forward to meeting another fellow sailor, too. So that's good. <laughs> Roger that, Cha-Cha. Uh, okay, Paragon, standing by on 1-6. Cha-Cha, standing by on 1-6 as well. Over. <laughs> wow. So, uh, I guess... I guess they had a worse time in that storm than I did. Uh, their, uh, he said that their, uh, their steering is gone, um, their engine is gone, uh, their sails are torn to shreds, <laughs> uh, and that he uh, got a bad head injury and went into shock for a couple of days. Um, and, uh, and that uh, one woman aboard uh, his boat is uh, inexperienced and having a difficult time. Um, they're 20.2 miles away and I, I just rigged up a uh, towing cable. 52 feet is a lot of boat to tow. Um, but, uh, and I, I, uh, 
he seemed uncertain. Uh, he's not sure if uh, they they got into contact with Bermuda Harbor Radio, um, uh, and I don't know how long ago that was. Um, but uh, but no, they have heard nothing since, and nobody has has arrived to assist. And um, yeah, they're they're. They can't. They can't steer. They can't power. They can't sail. They are. They are definitely adrift and in need of assistance. So, so here he comes to save the day. <laughs> See what I can do. Um, maybe I can tow them at like two knots towards Bermuda. Um, you know, as long as it doesn't get too windy to make it impossible. Um, and uh, and I can keep towing them towards Bermuda until we get into VHF range of Bermuda Harbor Radio uh, and their Coast Guard and then they can send out uh, a boat that would be more capable of towing them. Chop chop. So we'll see what happens. Okay, continuing adventures.